Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, welcome back to GIS in Landscape Architecture, ALE 3191. Okay, we have learned a basic understanding of Map Info Pro 17.0 in the last lesson, lesson 1. Okay, you have known a bit on the interface of Map Info. Okay, so today on um, this lesson, lesson 2, we'll be covering on the basic drawing tools that will enable you to make basic drawings for your maps later on. Before you can embark to make a more complex map, you need to understand what are the basic drawing tools that are available in Map Info Pro. Okay, let's check it out. All right, first, hope you everyone have opened your software. All right, have, as you have learned last time, we need to um, click on the blank workspace if you don't have anything saved last time. All right. Okay, so it appears like this with the blank workspace. So we still have an untitled workspace at the moment. All right, okay. Uh, how to make a drawing uh, on a map, okay? Basically, the first thing first, we have to create a table. All right, okay, how to create a table? You need to go to the tab of table here. All right, okay. Under the tab of table, you will see a few icons and you will need to find this new table okay when you click new table it will enable you to uh, make a new table which is a data database a future database that you will create okay in a new mapper right let's click okay when you click new table just now it will pop up with a new window okay called new table okay under new table it has two options which is which are open new browser or open new mapper okay the default choice is always new mapper because if you put new browser it will pop up to another browser which is another window but if it's a new mapper it will be in the same workspace all right okay then we will opt for this open new mapper then we click create okay after you click create you will find that another pop-up window will appear with uh, a title of new table structure okay every single table that will be created need to be put uh, with need to be complete with certain information in it okay for example what do you want to name uh, the table that you have just created okay for example we want to make like uh, let's name it lesson two exercise or basic drawing exercise okay but you have to remember when you want to give a name for or a category for the table you have to make sure there is no space so that means like this basic you can you cannot put um space but you can always put underscore drawing underscore exercise all right okay you can name it like that okay Af uh, under the uh, after the the name category you can see there is a type category okay there is a drop down menu over here when you drop it down okay there will be a sev several options on the category whether or not you want it to be on character character means in words okay in word or in letters integer means in digit and then float is something uh, more on paragraph and whatnot decimal is in the decimal point time is in time date date or time logical is uh, perhaps like formula okay all right so we will take this one as character okay and you can always change the width the width the width means the length of your of your name okay for example when i name it here basic drawing exercise okay it is more actually more than 10 characters so that's why it is uh, it appears here basic drawing e okay you can always name you can have it more than more more than what uh, as how you want to name it okay all right then move on to the right side you can see the button of projection still remember what i told you about projection okay projection is the coordinate okay the location where you want to project the map okay if you click on a projection you will see a massive choice of longitude and latitude and there are category members of longitude and latitude i know it's massive and i know it's like 
very alien to us okay all right so these are the maps that had been created globally okay by the gis specialists and whatnot okay according to satellite information okay and also according to the location of the place okay on the category there are projections of the world projections of a hemisphere and whatnot okay by right when we talk about coordinate we are now in malaysia so we have to know what kind of projection that is suitable for malaysia all right if you scroll down a bit okay you can see like china danish okay danish is uh, denmark uh, finnish is finland french is france okay then we can see hungarian india indonesia korea so where's malaysia coordinate you can scroll down a bit and there you go you'll find malaysian coordinate system all right let's click on it okay when you choose the category of projection as malaysian coordinate system you will see the some of the options okay for example like gdm 2000 datum peninsula rso gdm 2000 datum all right kertau east malaysia datum and whatnot okay actually these are just um a few there are so many more projections of malaysia peninsula borneo even east malaysia west malaysia there are there are many projections okay it depends on what types of data that you want to actually project okay so let's say for this exercise okay for this beginning we try to get for example like peninsula rso gdm data later on i will explain to you the what is other projection that can be used okay we click okay all right after we chose the projection then we are actually good to go we are just ready to get our map created all right let's create okay when you click create it will pop up another new window which is create new table and you have to name the table and see as i mentioned before the format to be saved as tab dot tab okay so because you are actually actually creating a table so find a space that you want to actually uh save your work okay then you can name the file the table okay for example um exercise two okay then we can click save okay let's see what happens okay when you click save it will pop up a new mapper on your workspace with the name of exercise to map all right and it will actually if you can see on this common ribbon it will directly lead you to map tab okay this map tab okay still remember on our last class last lesson okay I have shown you what are the basic tools for the drawing where you can find it in map and then go to insert then you will find some basic drawing tools like for example point point are symbols and then text and then a few types of lines which are line polyline and arc and also regions which are polygon ellipse rectangle and rounded okay let me tell you okay like for example points it will show you symbols if you want to use symbols to indicate something on your map then you can use it okay uh for lines it's like a single line if you want to make a line then it will it will just contain a line um it will not have any territory inside the volume inside the line because it doesn't form any shape even if you form a shape from line for example you want to make a rectangle from line when you actually connect the last dot to each other it will not form a territory it is just will be read as line okay but it differs from regions if you want to make a rectangle from regions okay okay from the regions shape then you will get something that is with volume inside it when you click inside the rectangle it will it will actually pop some information in that okay all right before i go for the basic drawings i would like you to see on this explorer panel okay as i mentioned before this explorer panel is uh, the panel which displays the layers of your drawing okay for example the first one if you can see it has the cos cosmetic layers okay cosmetic layers is the default layer like 
and every time you have in Photoshop and whatnot, it will be like the default layer, like background. Okay, and then you have the another layer which is the exercise map that you have just do. Okay, all right. How do you want to do the drawing from here? Okay, I hope that everyone can still catch up. One, I want you to make some basic drawings first. Okay, let's go to insert. Okay, for example, if you want to do some symbols, okay. then when you click symbols, uh, point, okay, there you go. You will have like star shape, okay, on it, right? Okay, if you want to make some annotations, for example, like GIF in landscape architecture. There you go. That is on text. Then, if you want to do lines, okay, you can always drag and do lines, whichever you like. Okay, for example, this is polyline. The, the difference between lines and polyline is polyline will uh, have the connectors. For example, when you, see, uh, when you draw this, it will have another connector until you click finish okay when you want to click finish you can just escape all right okay for example arc arc is something that is curve all right things like that okay then we can go to polygon okay for example if you want to do polygon you do something like this for example multiple faces of shapes okay when you actually do this polygon you'll try to click okay go to select and click and you will actually get the whole shape it has the territory this is what i meant and for example if you this is from the polyline just now if you click on it it will just highlight the line rather than the territory inside like polygon does okay all right ellipse for example if you select it will be like this Round it. Okay, if you select, it will be like this. Okay, so these are the things. Okay, how about style? Okay, style is the point style. For example, if you if you don't want the symbols of uh, stars, you can always choose other symbols. For example, like this, and you can always change its color to become like blue. And if you want it to be bigger, it can be like okay. Then you can go to point again, and you can get a new one. If you want to get the existing one to to be to be uh, to be what we call this to be change, okay, you can also you uh, select and for example like style, okay, you want to have line style which is like um, red in color, and then you want it to be like more thicker, okay. Then you will get something like this okay so basically the drawing tools for gis that you will use for your educational purpose this semester and for your studio is uh, the basic drawing is from insert and also styling all right i hope that everyone understands okay how to do the basic drawing by using this insert and styling tools all right so i think i will um, urgent here right before we can resume to another lesson on how to create a map with an information or a drawing with information all right thank you very much everyone hope you enjoy doing your gis and map info and all the best see you again